what do you mean by research is what today we are going to learn so we all know research is very important word in PhD studies once you want to do research first of all you should understand the meaning of research now this is what the meaning of research by giving one example let us take a revision revision is uh, means you study again like you are uh, having a glance that vision so eye vision so you are revisioning so you are glancing again what you had studied previously so that's called revision in the same way let's come to the term research in phd research in the sense search searching again is what the meaning so it's not something you are searching newly okay all of a sudden something so it's not research research means it has to cling with the two aspects the first aspect is research arises from your past knowledge the first thing secondly research arises from your existing knowledge now what is existing knowledge and what is past knowledge now existing knowledge is the knowledge that you have in your long uh, long term memory and um, that you which you remember totally uh, probably the knowledge that you had gained in masters or post graduation and past knowledge in the sense the the overall knowledge that you have been acquiring throughout your life from schooling to your uh, to your college studies so the combination of these two knowledge uh, gives uh, uh, a scope a scope to one research so you are researching from your existing knowledge from the past knowledge and you are putting together uh, and um, uh, analyzing the problems out of that that's called research so once you analyze the problem out of that research is what you are going to solve that problems with a kind of methodology that you are going to propose so that's where finally you give conclusions and findings and again you will also recommend some future scope this is a whole uh, combination the culmination of the uh, things uh, that are involved in the term research research is not something that you ask somebody some topic and uh, uh, newly you get the topic you don't know anything about the topic and you call it a research never 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 have that kind of uh, uh, that kind of studies in PhD because that studies won't be qualitatively uh, 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 qualitatively uh, what we can say uh, useful to others in in the future so that is why when you choose PhD topic it's very important that you are, you have to choose it from your your perspective from your knowledge base that's very very important please do not ask some others can you give me a topic or uh, can you suggest me new topic that way so uh, of course you can ask but that should you should know something about that it's not all of a sudden that you fall on some topic and everything is new to you and you call it a research so it should not happen that way so that's why what is very important in your phd studies is knowing the meaning of research itself will give you a lot of scope to do how to go about how to do about how to proceed with everything that you are uh, researching so i hope this is the meaning of uh, research that can help you to understand better and to choose your topics better to to analyze your chapterizations better so uh, that way you your uh, uh, topic will stand out from your own perspective not from others perspective or not from others knowledge it is from your own perspective so that is the definition and meaning of research according to phd study tips Thank you so much if this video is useful don't forget to share in your whatsapp groups that's very very important because others will benefit along with you uh, that's what my uh, my intention to that you, you will benefit from what i say and from what you share others also will benefit that way this channel is useful to all the phd aspirants and phd students and also researchers and scholars other ways thank you so much and we will meet.